This is Pex Beginner's Guide of Neil, Chapter 19, Yokai Country. Alright, so what you just saw was the current level I am in. So I finally reached my CO in a total of plus 16. And I hope you guys have too in this mission. So, getting started, we're going to lure one of the three enemies uh, a little far away so the rest won't notice. And we're just going to constantly keep dashing until he's dead. And then the next one, we're just going to do a sneak attack on him. So we're just slowly walking behind him. And then surprise him with a cross slash and then a finishing blow. And then lure him a little uh, down low here. Alright, wait for him to attack and then uh, punish him by attacking him. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna perform another sneak attack on the third enemy. All right, He's down. And then this enemy that we're gonna be, well, not facing, we're actually gonna be uh, uh, dodging him. So this is called a snakehead yokai. Well, that's what I'm gonna call it, just to make it easy. Pretty much, it's a snake yokai that possesses a human and replaces his head with with his own um and but he will use the remnants of the human head as a disguise just to uh fool or yeah pretty much fool the character or player but anyway uh we're gonna use the kekai and just wave dash past all these enemies go to the left past this kappa and then there's gonna be a bunch a couple of mini omibuzos right here uh and then there's a lickitung yokai and a kappa uh it's run away from them or dash away from them and get to the next checkpoint and I'm actually gonna call them checkpoints instead of shrines because that's pretty much what I'm doing or using the shrines for alright so we're gonna use a uh, Kekai once again we're gonna be going around the tree uh, passing these two uh, snakehead yokais and then we're gonna pass this enemy he's just a normal human so that's nothing to worry about and there's going to be a boulder coming down just hug the left side of the wall we're going to lure this lickitung yokai at least close to us or at least a little lower so that we can be able to open this gate to uh, uh, as a shortcut for the previous checkpoint and then just waiting for that yokai to, dis to go away so that we can use the checkpoint and doing that resets everything now we're just going to go right here, go to the left in the cave. We're going to go down. And then as soon as we see a couple of enemies here, we're going to use our Kekai. We're going to wave dash past them, go to the right. Keep going. And then this enemy, I'm going to call him a Scarecrow Yokai. He's tall, he's got a scary face. And uh, yeah, kind of like a Scarecrow. Alright, so we just hit our next checkpoint. And then... We're just going to go wave dash uh, past another set of enemies. We're going to go inside this house. I'm going to go to the left. And then beyond this door is a scarecrow yokai. And we're just going to keep wave dashing. And we're going to wave dash up these stairs. And just wait for that, uh, that scarecrow yokai to disappear. And then we're going to shoot this guy on the bridge. I missed him, but I got him for the second time. Uh, but it turns out he is a snakehead yokai. And as you can see from his attacks, he shoots fire and poison uh, fire shots at you. Uh, that uh, made him ignore us now, and then we're just going to lure this enemy. And then as usual, just wait for him to attack, and then just punish him uh, by pulling a combo on him. Now that he's taken care of, we're going to be fighting uh, the Scarecrow Yokai because uh, there is a gate that is between you and the previous checkpoint. So Kekai, Carnage, Lightning, 
sloth, dodge his attack, then use weakness. Uh, and then just attack him with a full combo, then wait for him to finish off his attack, and then punish him uh, with the, again with another attack. And he's down, use cross slash and finishing blow, and that should take care of him. Uh, so when using the shrine or the checkpoint, uh, that's he won't uh, respond. So this is a good opportunity to do that. So open this gate, and then use the checkpoint again, just to replenish uh, some omeo. Then we're going to use the kick eye and we're going to wave dash these enemies again. And we're going to climb up this ladder. And then we're just going to be running most of the time. So run up here. And then on the right corner, uh, just dash down. And then just climb up. And then quickly wave dash uh, down to the ground. And then we're gonna go through here, and go down here. Uh, the yokai, there, there's that umbrella yokai and the scarecrow yokai. Uh, and then beyond that gate, uh, I think it's Shiragane, I think that's his name, is the enemy. Pretty much he uh, has a guardian spirit, which is the uh, centipede. Uh, and there's this enemy that just followed us the whole time, which is gonna take him out. And then as I'm taking him out, and explain more on Shiragane. Um, basically, he fused himself with the uh, centipede guardian spirit and he's become one with it. So he's like half centipede, half human. And I just opened that gate so that we can have a shortcut between the checkpoint and the boss. So getting ourselves so prepared Kekai, Carnage, Wind. He is weak against Wind. Uh, as soon as the battle starts, when he attacks, you sloth. When he attacks again, you use weakness. Then you use guardian spirit to uh, have the bunny uh, guardian spirit. Hope you have that to place lightning landmines. And uh, yeah, that way his stamina quickly goes down. And then when he throws the first sword, dodge to the side. Second sword, dodge front. Then keep hitting him till the stamina goes down. And then punish him with the water slash. And hopefully if you have done this correctly, congratulations, you have beaten uh, Shiragane. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be uh, inventory, check your armor, check your weapons. And in your armor, um, I apologize I'm not mentioning this within all of the other videos. Uh, be sure to check your weight to know if it's in the green or the blue side. Uh, and then check your charm as well. And uh, if you have any prestige points, use them as much as possible. All right, and then we're gonna go to the blacksmith, and we're just and then just uh, do what you need to do: replenish your ammo, buy some weapons and armor yes, in order for you to disassemble and forge, along with uh, Sulu. All right, and then we're gonna go to the shrine, uh, go to blessing and sell some remaining armor and weapons to gain some more Amarita and uh, elixir. And then uh, we are actually gonna go to a change of guardian spirit and we're gonna switch to the bunny talisman to the Atlas bear. And then we're gonna go to ready jutsu. We're gonna replace wind with fire and we're going to and i'm gonna take out one of the kekais and one of the carnage for another uh, guardian spirit talisman uh so so i believe lightning and fire are gonna work well against the next boss that we're facing along with the guardian spirit talisman and atlas bear and all right so on the next video the mission that we're going to is called the One-Eyed Dragon's Castle, and hope this video has helped you out.